Now, communities coming together to help fight back against crime. It's all part of the focus behind National Night Out. But for one Columbus neighborhood, the night has extra special meaning. Box 28's Rob Wells is live at Confluence Park to explain tonight. Rob? Bob, National Night Out was started 30 years ago to cut crime in cities both big and small all across the country. This was the flyer that was passed out a few weeks ago to promote the event in Franklinton. It's a community hit especially hard by recent tragedies. Deja McCool and her kids have called Franklinton home for two years. She says that National Night Out is a launching pad to target crime that affects her community and others. It can happen anywhere, so it's just basically taking the precautions and just keeping it safe and keeping it myself is what I do. Avondale Elementary School served as the backdrop for National Night Out, which draws hundreds of Franklinton residents, business leaders, and officers who say that neighbors are key to cracking crime. It takes a village to do many things and one of those things is to keep each other safe. We can't do it all. Last week, police say that three people were shot to death in two separate incidents in Franklinton. While investigators search for answers, neighbors here continue their efforts for redevelopment. Just seeing new families move in and, and, and you know, dropping an anchor, it's, it's really starting to take hold. Pat Marvin launched the Dakota Block Watch in Franklinton in May. While her group has been working with officers on cutting crime, she says National Night Out is a good way to get everybody involved. It's not like we're looking for criminals. We're just watching out for our neighbors. Those here hope by targeting criminals, plus working to rid eyesores that dot the landscape, investors will take a closer look at the community. It needs growth. Most definitely needs growth here, and I think one good business here would start bringing in more business here. And neighbors also say they'd like to see more after school activities for kids, maybe even a new shelter for those with no place to go. Anything to cut back on problems and crime. Reporting live from Confluence Park, Rob Wells, Fox 28 News.